Hi everyone, this is Ants. In this video, I'm gonna show you three projects that basically deal with good old screen effects that have been made in the past year. And um, the majority of them have been made in the past two months. So they're more recent kind of projects because there are other ones other than the three I'm gonna show you. But the, the, these are the ones that uh, tweaked my interest and I'm gonna be uh, showing you them. So let's get started. The first one is uh, by Marino and he's from Germany and it's called good old visual effects and In his project, there's two pieces. One is the particle effects, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you just the screen effects But in this project, there's also a bonus where you get actual 3d particles But I'm not going to talk about that in this video. So let's get started. I'm gonna run this and he has a, a bunch of Effects this is with no effect and it's a 3d scene and he has chromatic uh, aberration. He has pixelate. This is really cool if you want to make it look more kind of retro or 8-bit. And uh, vignette, basically, this is when you get hit or you're gonna about to die. You have this kind of like throbbing. Should be a little bit faster in my opinion, but that's is configurable. Um, and then you have sepia, which makes it look like uh, an older black and white photograph. Uh, green noise, more like a CRT kind of fuzziness or uh, snow effect. Uh, hexagon mosaic, uh, standard camera shake. Uh, you can blur or a vignette blur, so it's blurred on the outer edges. Uh, we have fish eye, um, and we have underwater. I actually kind of like this. I have a use case for this, so I'm interested in this one. And then we have mirage, where I'm going to turn off uh, the rotating camera and as you can see it's kind of like it should wave the entire thing in my opinion and then it also has a blur on the uh, on the top thing i mean i'm pretty sure you could update the shader to do what you want we have color correction and we have monochrome uh, color which is really cool because there's some one bit uh, game jams out there where you only allowed one bit color so basically off and one color uh, and this would be really cool doing a 3d game in one bit. That would be pretty cool So that's basically it. It has a good list. Uh, some of the things that I um, Are kind of negatives for me is this is a C sharp if you see here. It's mono This is a C sharp uh, project or some of it is C sharp Which means you can't export to the web. So that's a big thing for me, but other than that the list of uh, effects is quite good and again i said that it has some uh, particle effects but he goes through each one and another thing that he's done really well is he puts basically it's based on this godot shader it's based on this shader toy thing that sort of thing so um yeah that's the first one and now we're going to go on to the second one which is ionis and um um uh, he basically uh, created this, and I, I got wind of this from the Godot um, um, Discord server, and he posted this on the Discord server. And basically, he said, listen, I created a plugin, but um, it's provided as is, and I just basically made it for my own uh, use cases. And um, so he may continue work on it, but it's basically as is. He basically uh, focused on blurs, shake, uh, color fade, and motion blur. So, you know, that sort of thing. So if you look at his screen effects, it's only this. I'm going to show you the demo, but he's some, done some really, really good things. And I'm going to talk about it uh, after. But I'm going to show you the demo because people like demos. So here is his project. Let's run this. This is all GD script and it's a plugin too. So it's plugin based, which is great. And one of the great things about this is uh, you could chain or do two effects at the same time. I'm gonna push one and three. So I'm gonna get screen shape, uh, sh uh, shake and blur going at the same time. So this is great. You could control every individual effect and you could have them um, running concurrently and all that kind of stuff, which is fantastic. The other thing, my PC is too fast, so you won't be able to see it, but uh, he has kind of like a rotate camera motion blur, that sort of thing, right? So he's done that. So again, this is a really good start for me. I'm gonna use this project uh, as his plugin and just add my effects to that, but you could do both at the same time. So let's go into the code and uh, see why I think it's good. So first of all, it's a plugin, 
right? So if you go to project settings, plugins, you enable it, you have this basically uh, thing here, right? So which is great, which is easy to basically add to any new uh, project or game, right? So that's really great. And if you go to the script, it's basically a singleton screen effect dot and then the actual uh, effect name and you could register new effects using the plugin all that kind of stuff and you pass it a bunch of parameters like the duration the start and all that kind of stuff and I, I like the way it's done it's simple and it's a plugin I'm really really uh, glad I found this because it's a basis of what I'm gonna basically build um, for myself so that's really really good it's all GD script so it runs on the web um, really really good find Okay, so, and I'll have a link of all these um, GitHub repos in the description. Don't worry about that. So yeah, here's one here. And again, the value add here is multiple instances of each effect can be added and controlled individually at the same time too, right? So you could blend two effects at the same time, so which is really, really cool. Okay, and it's a plugin. Um, the last thing uh, I'm going to show you, the last one, is Godot for color correction and screen effects, right? So again, he focuses more on color correction, but he does have some cool screen effects. And the difference here is this is mostly with visual shaders, right? So you could, you could uh, configure your shaders using code like um, um, a lot of people do, or you could use visual shaders. And so let's take a look at his um, project here. And as you can see, it's all visual shaders here. And he has examples, right? And right now, I think this is um, uh, a color correction example, right? So we're going to play this. And if I'm going to change it, he's doing color correction and he has an animation player that basically blends into that. He has other effects and we're going to go through the effects, but basically I'm just giving you the gist of it. Um, again, everything is configured through kind of like the visual shader. So you have to connect nodes and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go into detail. If you're into visual shaders, maybe this is a good uh, project to start with. And let's go through his effects. Okay. So he has a, a very quick and uh, like there's two parts to this. There is the color correction mini and it focuses more on color correction. So a color temperature, brightness, contrast, saturation, green tint, and he also provides a, a vignette too. It's incredibly fast. So if you need something, just something really fast. And basically it, this allows you to kind of create like a, a, a mood or a feeling to make it colder, warmer, that sort of thing, and more dangerous and all that kind of stuff. Dangerous as in put in the red vignette around, that sort of thing. But the, the, the cool effects, are inside uh, the effects ultimate, right? And that's going to need the visual shader. The ones that are really interesting are basically, um, I'd say these three, uh, these five, pixelation, chromatic aberrations, bloom booster, so you make things glow more. And there's something called halation there. And I didn't know what halation was, so I'm going to talk about it because I didn't know what it was. So um, basically old school film had different film uh, levels. This is a problem using analog film, both static and motion film. And basically when the light comes and hits the, the actual film, uh, the first um, layer is the one that absorbs the blue light. The second layer is the green light and the last layer is the red light. But behind that on high quality film, they had to put in the anti halation backing uh, and the reason why is they want to minimize uh, the light that wasn't absorbed by these strings, uh, these three layers that reflect back and it will hit the red layer again. So what does that mean? That means that older uh, uh, analog pictures and motion pictures basically had uh, white brightness uh, more being red and pixelated because you're going to have photons that basically reflect back. And the first layer it's going to hit is going to be the red layer again. And this is the reason why uh, the old, the one on the right here is more kind of red. Uh, and that's the reason why. The funny thing is, is we're creating effects, digital effects, to make it look more analog and um, basically mimic the shortcomings of the analog technology, which is really interesting to me. So uh, this is one of the instances where kind of like, uh, you know, I do this for fun and as a hobby and I actually learned something like 
that I wouldn't uh, learn, uh, you know, doing like banking applications and that sort of thing uh, as a developer. So anyways, again, um, if you're into visual shading, um, this is something you may want to look at. The other thing is, is this is one month to two weeks old. Like this is recent stuff. So I try to give you more of the recent stuff. Again, there's other projects out there that are older, 3.3 and 3.4. And you could look at those if you want, that's fine. But I'm more a look at um, uh, newer stuff. And this one here is only two months old. Uh, the one that I like, which is a plugin base. And Marino's stuff is uh, less than a year uh, old, right? So that's basically it. So uh, what are we at? We are 10 minutes, I'm over time. And so I'm gonna end it there. I hope you enjoyed these three projects. Hopefully you could use them in your games. And, um, um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot and take care.